so yeah, I, the time is 12 o'clock on uh, Friday the 20th. Um, I hereby call to order this unregularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Uh, we do not have minutes to approve. So our first order of business today is going to be to authorize the chair to sign the Stantec engineering proposal. This is the At proposal time, I would for... to approve. This is the... I'm sorry. This is the proposal for compliance with the mass contingency plan for the PFAS detection um, from the old Sunderland landfill. And it's a $12,500 proposal. Yes. Uh, thank you for that context. Yes. Uh, so, and this is for um, remediation for uh, residential wells impacted by PFAS from our uh, from our former uh, dump site. All right. Um, is there any discussion from the board? No. Let me let me make do we make the motion. We're all set. Uh, yeah, if there's I no want, discussion, I, I will I be ready to entertain a motion. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, make a motion quickly... that, I make go a motion. I make a motion that. Go ahead. I make a motion that we um, give Nate, Nathan, the and Nathaniel the uh, authority to sign the agreement with Stantec for twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the uh, landfill work that's needed. Um, that's yeah, that's it. All right. We have a motion made. Do we have a second from Crystal? You might still be muted. Oh yeah, let me un unmute Crystal here. I don't think. All right, I second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to give the chair approval to sign the Stantec agreement. All those in favor? Aye, Crystal Aye. Drake, come by. Aye, Dan Murphy. Aye, Nathaniel Waring. Three nothing, Margaret. Okay. Uh, just quickly on the funding, uh, we are we are going to have to piece together funding for this because we don't have sufficient funds in any of the town's accounts. May I ask the select board at this time to approve the use of the remaining ARPA balance of $4,922.56 toward this expense. Um, we are going to combine this. It, this doesn't the, the next funding sources do not require select board authorization. We're going to combine um, a combination of grant writing consulting funds from that line and remaining landfill monitoring balance, anticipating um, a necessary reserve fund transfer later in the year. Okay, great. Thank you. So at this time, I'd entertain a motion to uh, approve the use of the last of the ARPA funds, the amount mentioned by Margaret, um, for use towards the uh, the Stantec agreement. So before we get to the motion, do uh, it's just a question I want to throw out there, just so we're all thinking about it. Do we want to do that? right now or do we need to keep that money in arpa in case something that we already approved goes over by a thousand dollars or a few hundred dollars then what do we do if we use the rest of the arpa money i could make a recommendation on that i would say that any any expenses that have previously been approved by the select board should stay within budget and um, any requests for increases for any of those projects that go over um, should come from that particular department's um, expense lines for FY25. I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, and I think Dan and Nathan, just, you know, you guys know how many times, like, the school has come back to us needing more money. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, um, I just did one thing. I did, and I know I mentioned this uh, earlier, but I haven't gotten the uh, formal proposal out. I was looking for... 500 for the reach out to the apartment complexes in town. And I'm just curious, as long as we can find another place to see if we can find a place to fund that. And I don't know if ARPA was the easiest, but I'm just thinking out loud. That's all. Yeah. So I would say that in general, if we were earlier in the ARPA timeline where we yeah. had more time left over, I'd be more concerned about leaving a little bit in, in the coffers. Um, okay. For me, it, it's we're, we're getting close enough that um, we kind of need to spend it now because we have only a couple months left before we, if we haven't already appropriated it for something, we, you know, we lose that money. Um, in addition to that, if we do have, um, uh, you know, overtures in one group, um, yeah. there's almost assuredly other groups who were approved for a certain amount of money who haven't used that. So we can do a little bit of re refiguring, you know, towards the end of the year if we need to. Um, sure. But I'm kind of of the, of the mind that, yeah, if, if there was a issue like the elementary school had where they had to come back to us for more money, if yeah. that came in right now, the answer to them would be, I'm sorry, yeah, that's yeah. Just, it's too late in the in the ARPA cycle to be able to do that. You're going to need yeah. to find additional funding elsewhere or put that in your, your 
four year, 25 budget, as, as uh, Margaret said. One, one other thought I'm hearing, sorry, one other thought, I'm hearing a lot of people here say we don't have to spend opera till the end of next year. Is that different, different, different places? My understanding is it has to be allocated by allocated. December 31st this and year. Spent. And, and then next year? actually spent by the end of next year. Okay. And so we have projects right. that we've allocated for that don't actually spend it. We still are in a position where we might lose it, which is why we had discussed previously um, reaching out to all those projects and encouraging them to, you know, if you if you if you aren't absolutely sure you're spending that money, let us know right now so that we can allocate it to something that's actually going to get used for. Um, okay. we, have, we have actually started scrubbing the ARPA spreadsheet. We've been going through uh, warrant um, bill warrants. Um, and looking at actual at actual expenditures from FY, actually going back to FY24, we want to know what was approved versus what was spent versus yeah. what hasn't been touched. Yeah. Um, and, um, and I want to, the Newtown administrator is going to absolutely need a clear, a clear indication of yeah. what's still on the table because there's a mandatory report due in December. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so we, we, there, if we end up, there might end up being $500 when we do that. Dan, um, and if not, that's a that's a thing we can address otherwise. Um, okay, yeah, okay. So that's, that's only that's my small ask. I'm just yeah, I, I want to leave no, that no. open. V sure very important conversation. Do this ARPA thing has been a real um, asset to the town for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, it has allowed us to to really make the the operation of the town a lot smoother. Um, and it's certainly something that we're going to miss when it's no longer available. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's definitely going to present challenges next year. Challenges. Big challenges next year. Yeah. Yeah. Big challenges for for a lot of towns next year. So. But unfortunately, that's a conversation for not today. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let me think what you want to. So, at this time, are uh, Crystal and Dan, are you both comfortable uh, with that? Or do you have any other discussion you want to make before well, you make a motion? It. It's fine. I'll make a motion. So, wait, make a motion to use the remaining ARPA balance uh, towards the Stantec contract or extra work contract, proposal contract. Excellent. Do we have a second? I'll check out. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to use the remaining ARPA balance of approximately four thousand nine hundred and some odd dollars uh, towards the Stantec um, proposal. All those in favor? Aye. Crystal Drake, John Boy. Aye, Dan Murphy. Aye, Nathaniel Waring. Three nothing. Margaret, thank you. Sit. All right, is that all that you needed from us? Yes. Thank you so much for getting together today to to take care of this business. No problem. Uh, we don't have any correspondence. I don't see anyone on the line that's not the four of us. And so I'm going to assume there's no public comment. Uh, so at this time, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay, motion we adjourn. Second. All right, we have a motion made and adjourned to, to uh, made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye, Crystal Drake, John Bly. Aye, Dan Murphy. Aye, Nathaniel Waring. The time is 12.09. Thank you, everybody.